Ayo. So, PlayStation State of Play came out today, and there were a lot of crazy announcements. It wasn't just about Suicide Squad. We got some VR games. We got a nice little Street Fighter reveal. And we got, you know, a lot of other kinds of stuff that I'm going to be talking about. So, starting it off with the VR, just getting that out of the way. We had a Foglands VR, which is a... It seemed like a roguelite off the bat, and looking into it a little more, it is. It's It looks really neat with the gunplay. And, you know, I don't know many like, roguelite VRs, so this should feel the need for that in the, in the VR space quite well. Next up we have Green Hell, which I have seen a lot of other VR YouTubers play. It is a brutally intense, realistic kind of survival game. And I'm looking forward to seeing that on the PlayStation VR. Next is Snaps. And I i didn't even know what I was looking at at first, but looking more into the trailer, it was it is a lot of fun gunplay and telekinesis, which is always fun to play with in VR. Next is Journey to Foundation, which I thought when I was first looking at it, it was like a Star Wars kind of VR game, but... I guess looking into it, it's based off of a novel from Isaac Asimov, who I only really heard of since watching the show Mythic Quest. So I haven't really read much of his stuff, but it it seemed really interesting. And next is Before Your Eyes VR, which I still need to play like the original version of. It is it, it makes me cry just like thinking about playing it where you're it hooks your camera up and detects if you blink and if you blink then you just go to a next to the next part of your life so you're starting from like the beginning and you're just trying your hardest not to blink and bef before you know it you're you're stuck you're putting into the next win and you just don't want to leave you don't want to you don't want to go back to anything you want to you want to just stay in the spot that you're in so I still got to give the original game a try, but VR, I'm I'm looking forward to. Ne and then that's it for the VR games. Um, but next we have the Destiny 2 Lightfall launch trailer, which was looking pretty insane. Like, I'm not a Destiny 2 player, but when I was looking at what new characters and classes they're putting in, there was like this dual blading grappling hook kind of thing going on, and that kind of got me kind of interested to play some Destiny 2. Next up is uh, Chia, which is a, it seems like a pretty fun kind of adventure game. Like, you're, it's like a bit of like Raft and like Breath of the Wild. Like, I, <laughs> I know that's probably a hell of broad stroke generalization, but there was, you know, there were rafts and there was a, uh, there was a paraglider used it as a leaf. But I want to, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how it, how it turns up. Next up was Humanity. It was, I, I don't even know how to describe what the hell I was seeing when I was looking at that. It was like this, like, human hurting puzzle game that was just getting hella trippy near the end. But it's made by the people who made a Tetris effect, or I believe so, so, but next up it's Goodbye Volcano High. And this hasn't really been on my radar, but it was showing off some neat rhythm game mechanics. And on top of like being a VN, it seemed like a mix of like rhythm game, VN, and uh, Life is Strange. So it's going to be like this like story between characters and, you know, I'm sure there's some people who out there who would like it, who'd like to play it. Next up, it's Naruto Storm Connections. And this looks like to be like, Putting in together all of the Naruto Storm games that were out during like the PS3 and Xbox 360 on top of the Boruto games. And I was looking it up. It has 128 new characters with new ones or 128 of the old characters and then coming up with new ones as they go along. And it's going to be connecting all four of the Storm games. So this seems to be like the definitive Naruto Storm game coming out. That, you know, should... I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hyped for it. Next up, we have Baldur's Gate 3, which is finally getting its release date of August 31st. I'm... 
I used to play uh, one Baldur's Gate game back in the day. It was Dark Alliance, and it was nothing like how this new one is playing. But t like it, it, at first, I was thinking it was like a D and D game, but not really the case now. But yeah. Baldur's Gate 3 coming out on August 31st. I'm sure a lot of the RPG fans are going to love it. it they've been cooking this thing for a, quite a while. Next up is the Wayfinder beta, which looked like a pretty good action RPG. Like, it was looking pretty neat. I mean, the I can't tell if the, like, the gameplay itself was choppy or if that was just like the way the video was made. But it looked like it just needs a little bit more time in the oven. And it could be a pretty decent action RPG to play with your friends. Next up, we have Street Fighter VI coming out with three different characters reveals. So we have the grappler himself, Zangief, coming back. And I remember people were saying that as soon as Zangief was revealed, we're going to see how toxic this game can really get with the whole rushing on a grappler kind of vibe going. And with the way the trailer was looking, he is he's looking mean. He's a uh, dude. I, I wouldn't be sleeping on any Zangiefs around this time around the time this game's coming out and then lily we have i think she's a new character but the way i was looking at her she looks like she's right up my alley because i'm just a sucker for any kind of dual blading character I, <laughs> I that's like my one class that i always play in any kind of game so around the time street fighter 6 come up comes up i might just pick her up and then cammy is coming back and cammy was just looking dope as hell like she's she's looking fast she's looking like she's like the best of her own of what any kind of other game that she's been in so i'm looking forward to that resident evil 4 had an had its third trailer come out and we've got more looks at the castle we've got a little more interactions with the characters themselves and it's looking pretty dope it's also coming out with a demo soon and it revealed that it's going to have a mercenaries mode which i absolutely love i by the time i beat a resident evil game i always find myself stuck on the mercenaries mode just seeing how far i could get but then the suicide squad finally got like a decently sized gameplay trailer showing off all of the characters we've got like harley deadshot king shot and captain boomerang just flying through the air and i've i've said this from day one that i'm going to be a harley main if this game is come once this game comes out this game is looking good this game is looking fun and all of that talk about the battle pass is not gonna like deter me from getting this amazing looking game like it just it looks really fun but yeah that's gonna be it for talking about the new state of play what are you looking forward to Personally, I'm trying to remind myself that Before Your Eyes is still a thing that exists that I need to play. I'm looking forward to seeing how Naruto Storm Connections turns out to be. I'm looking like I'm I'm hoping that they give it like a decent netcode, you know, because these games, these game, uh, online games these days, they really do need that kind of good netcode to stay alive. Otherwise, you know, what's the point of having it? For like more playing it for more than a week um street fighter 6 made me pick up a little is making me a lily main i'm gonna see if that resident evil 4 demo is gonna be out for pc in some way and definitely definitely gonna try to grab suicide squad when it comes out but yeah what are you guys looking forward to i know i've got mine but i'd like to hear what you guys think in the comments um that's gonna be it for today like the video if you did, subscribe if you can, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.